my name is Alar Bitar. I come from Lebanon, uh, but I've been living in Switzerland since a year and a half now. Um, basically, I'm a SharePoint addict since uh, 2007. So yes, uh, guilty as charged. Uh, but I'm also an Office 365 and SharePoint consultant for a consulting company called Serial, which is part of a larger group uh, in Europe called the, the Positive Thinking Company. Um, I'm also a Microsoft certified trainer and this I can, I'm sharing my GitHub and my LinkedIn, LinkedIn profile if you want to um, to follow to follow me. Uh, before I, I jump into the, the demo, I would just like to give you like a bit of context of uh, what I will uh, I will um, share with you the, the the main idea was to to, to give the, the opportunity of any for for uh, for, for any um, SharePoint user to like per se uh, copy paste uh, uh, an existing SharePoint site. So um, you have you have like a template, uh, an existing SharePoint site, and you want like to, to clone it, but uh, not just uh, okay the, the look and feel, the the pages and the web parts inside inside of it, but also the um, the documents that are uh, in different uh, the document libraries. So the the solution that uh, <clears throat> I will be presenting is basically um, an SPSFX web part that is just like a, a React form that will trigger uh, a PowerShell as Azure function that will use the PNP provisioning engine to do basically three things. The first thing it will save the template uh, for 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 the selected site. Then it will create like um, a blank site, uh, just um, a regular one, and then it will apply the um, the safe template to uh, to this site. So uh, let me show you my amazing uh, SPFX web part. So the, uh, <laughs> this is it. Basically, it has to uh, to to fill the, the the name of the site and this drop down list that is basically bound to um, what are the different sites that you like tagged uh, as as templates so you can i've created like two 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 templates and i have two two buttons so if i select a template i can open um, uh, the template just to see how how it looks so basically this template has um, a, a welcome page with uh, some quick links and a, a twitter web part um, it has a document library where i put um, a simple a simple pdf if we take a look at the other uh, template the b1 is a bit a bit different it has like the um the the document library web part on the on the page and i created like two two different pages one article one q and a and i've created also a, a document library called invoice and uh, with a with a pdf inside so Basically, uh, here I can say like a new um, uh, site template B, okay? And I will hit the uh, the create site uh, button and because this is a test environment, so it is a bit slow, it takes a couple of minutes. So during uh, the, the provisioning of the of the site, we will go through the um, the, the web part and the, uh, the Azure function. So I'm just hitting the create site, so I have a, a loader uh, stating that it is in the saving site template. Then the, it will like create the, the name empty site, and then it will display uh, the uh, applying template, and um, a new uh, a new tab will 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 open with the um, on the on the new site uh, new site template B URL. So uh, basically, the the web part is not um, like uh, really fancy this um, I have like this uh, here the the title and what is maybe a bit uh, interesting here is the the, the the drop down list that is binded to the to this on them on them uh, sorry to this uh, this dot state dot template so how I am provisioning this um, um, this property is basically I have a uh, a template uh, SharePoint list where I define my different. Uh, um, uh, let me show you where I will define my different uh, available templates. So um, if I go here to available templates, 
here I just say that uh, the, the, this template is called temp uh, template A, and uh, I'm just uh, hard coding the uh, the URL of the of the site. So if we go back to the web part, um, basically the uh, the two buttons, like the, the first one, open the template. I'm just doing like a window uh, dot open for the the selected uh, items, in, uh, the selected item in the drop down list. But what is interesting is this uh, this this one, this um, create site button that is binded to the handle site creation creation um, function. So uh, basically, basically I, I created like a wrapper for uh, calling uh, an Azure function and you just uh, pass the JSON data that you want to uh, to post in the um, for, for 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 this uh, Azure function because this Azure, this Azure PowerShell function is triggered by HTTP. So you just have to call it with the uh, with the post and you just send the a json object uh, in order to do it uh, to do to, to tell the the azure function what uh, what uh, you want to do so um if you if you if we go to the handle site creation function so okay first i'm uh, i just set the state to show this uh, loading um, uh, message and then i'm calling the azure function with um those those two uh, those two properties in the the JSON object. So I'm telling it basically the the destination, the URL of the site that I want to in the mode uh, save template. So in the in the Azure function, uh, we will I will show it uh, to you uh, in a bit. Uh, I have like a special case um, for the uh, for the mode save template, and uh, I look. What is the destination? I'm connecting to this destination URL and I'm saving the the, tab, uh, the, the template for, for this uh, destination URL. Then I'm calling the same Azure function, but this time with the mode create site. And I'm just uh, passing by the uh, the title of the site that I want to, to create. So basically here we are create, creating a, a basic uh, empty uh, team site um, site. Um, and then uh, the last thing that we want to do, so no, not the last thing, the, the before the last one uh, per se, uh, is to apply the, the template that we have just created and we have just saved to, um, to, to the selected uh, site that we just uh, created. So this is why we passed mode uh, apply template and then when everything goes uh, as ex expected uh, we just open the, the the new created site so let me just have a look on the uh, okay so now we are uh, we passed the first uh, mode a save template we passed the second one create a site and now we are applying the template uh, to to the new created site so if you have a uh, look to the uh, on the um, uh, azure uh, powershell uh, provisioning uh, function. So basically, here um, uh, at first I'm just getting what what has been um, uh, passed in the in the body of the of the of the call. I'm just like preparing the um, the username and the password to create a, a credential uh, object in order to, to connect. So um, here uh, it is the first first case, the safe template. So I'm connecting to the to the site, and then I'm, I'm just uh, of, uh, create, um, of writing a bit the, the save directory because what I want is to have a folder um, per uh, site. So uh, basically, I'm creating a folder uh, this uh, by, by the name of the of the title. So here it is uh, template uh, B or A, I think. Uh, I don't remember. Let me just check. It is template B. Uh, oh, and here it uh, it has finished, so it opened like a, a new tab, and hopefully it will, it will look like almost the the same the same site as my my template site. So uh, it looks good till now. Let's just see if it is loading uh, right uh, the the web part, but we can uh, we can we can come back for it a bit. Maybe okay. I will I will come back for it uh, once it has uh, fully loaded. So um, okay. So I'm just specifying the name of the the template file uh, XML, 
and then I'm just uh, like uh, calling the get PNP provisioning templates. And really, really, I, I have to I have to to say uh, this. Thank you for this uh, little guy, uh, uh, this little new uh, new attribute. Include all uh, client side pages because uh, um, this has been like a, a new um, a new a new uh, a new attribute that you, that you added, guys, and it saves us a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of time. So uh, once I provisioned, once I generated this um, uh, this template. Uh, because the, 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 the mechanism of the PNP provisioning is to uh, to save the structure uh, of the site. But I, what I wanted to do also is to uh, inject in this template the uh, the different document that I that I have in um, in a site. So uh, in order in order to do this, I just like um, getting the list of the docu the different document libraries that I have on in my uh, in my SharePoint site, and with these two little guys, process folder and process subfolder, it is just two um, two 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 function that I uh, created. Uh, and basically, I, what is interesting here is uh, this one. So I'm um, for every file in a document library. I'm with uh, using the get uh, PNP file. I'm downloading the the file, and uh, using this uh, add PNP file to provisioning template. I'm. It is like you are injecting in the template that XML file the uh, the name of the document and the uh, the URL for for this document. So later when you uh, apply the template, so in your template file you don't you, you just you don't just have the, the structure, but you also have the documents and their their corresponding URL. So when you just call the apply PNP provisioning template, um, uh, PNP uh, PNP uh, provisioning function, it will uh, inject as well in your new site the uh, the different uh, documents that that are uh, that were specified in the in your uh, template uh, the XML file and uh, just basically here the the second the third uh, third uh, mode is create site it is I'm just like uh, connecting to the to the instance and I'm like uh, adding a subsite to the um, uh, to my to my parent site so um, if we have a look here, so yes, uh, it has fully loaded. I have my uh, little um, text. I have my web part, and I also have my pages that were uh, copied. So the article is like an empty one, just with a with a picture, and the Q and A uh, file is just uh, some text. And uh, I have uh, also my uh, my invoices um, uh, document document library. So uh, yes, it is basically uh, it for me. Don't know if there is any question or. Uh... So Patrick, if you don't mind, I, I just have to say that every single time I see that the, the provisioning engine to work uh, without any problems like this, I still it just keeps on amazing me still. And I know because I, well, I even designed the original design for it. I don't write it yeah. anymore, but still. But it, it is really cool that you can live and do a runtime extraction and apply on yeah. on an existing site. It's just really great. The, the only thing that that maybe you we, we we have to take in consideration is maybe the size of the files uh, because I have tested. Sure. You know, if you put like a, a 200 megabyte uh, picture, so yes, yes, it, it will take that, uh, a bit of time to uh, to. To, to provision, but uh, sure. besides of that, uh, it is really, really cool and really, um, really performant. Yep, and like you said, there's now new options on actually exporting all of the pages, and, and yes. pretty soon you can export yeah. all of the image, uh, sorry, lists, uh, data as well, and documents. Okay. So yeah, really cool stuff as well. Yeah. But, even even for, for for the list data, you can like uh, do a. Um, a bit there is a function that you can like inject in the template sure. of xml yeah yes yes absolutely absolutely already today thank you i'll ask